Hi everybody. I often get asked um, what my process is, so I thought I would kind of give you a little demonstration on a painting that's already uh, in the works that I'm uh, trying to deliver for next week. So I get rid of the what's called the ground. Um, I particularly choose red. Um, different artists choose different colors. It's really up to you what you want to choose. I find it get, if you get rid of the white, it's not so scary. Um, because you've already got rid of um, the crisp white thing and your first stroke won't be terrifying. So then I go in and I just use regular chalkboard paint or chalkboard chalk. And I go in and I would chalk in my image, um, build a few trees and get the basic layout of the painting. Then I go in and I use um, a thin wash of golden paint is a paint that uh, brand that I really like and I would go in and I would cover up or solidify my drawing. Sometimes when I get that paint in um, I'll fix the drawing and I'll change things because the chalk uh, drawing isn't quite right and I can see it when I make a darker uh, uh, line. I'll fix it. So. That's stage one, is painting it red. Stage two is getting my chalk design in. Stage three is that, um, what I call the inking stage with a burgundy paint, usually is what I use, but use whatever you want. Then I go in and I start the color blocking. And a technique that I use is I often touch my brush, well, I'll always actually, I never just use one color. I will touch a couple of colors, so that there's three on my brush. And then I go in and I mix that color on the canvas. Can you see how I've got all the different lines? And all those colors just mix and grow right on the canvas. So that's the color blocking stage. I'll go in and I'll usually start with the foreground and then work towards the background. The sky will be last. So there's a little bit of a tip on how I start a painting. I hope you learned something. Feel free to ask me below any questions. Um, I'd love to answer, I'd love to dialogue with you. And uh, again, happy painting.